Hi, I'm Anthony from Southern Design RV in Ballarat. And today I'm going to introduce to you the Projector 12 volt battery management system. This is standard in 2025 in all of our Design RV vans. So this is your projector main control screen. To wake it up, all you have to do is tap on the screen and that wakes it up. You'll see it's set on the home button. So for most of the functions that you need on this system, just leave it there. That'll give you 99% of the information that you need. On the far left hand side, on the top corner, you'll see a load button. The load is your power on and off switch for the 12 volt system. So if we just press that now, that turns the power off. If we press it again, that turns it on. Now if you've got it in long term storage, turn that off. If you have got it plugged into mains power, it'll still charge, and the same with the solar. But what that does is it stops the drain on the batteries. Directly underneath, you've got another button that says night. What that's for is night time. If you want to go to sleep, it stops the screen coming on and off and waking you up. So if you press night, that darkens the screen. Now to turn that back off again, tap the screen and then press night again and it'll resume back to the normal screen setting. Directly underneath that you've got water pump one. If I press pump one, there goes the water pump. Now you've only got the one water pump in this system. There's no pump number two. They come standard with just one pump. So you can turn that on to get access to water from your tanks. You've also got here your two freshwater tanks. This one's saying that it's empty, the other one's 75%, and tap is your dirty grey water. So just at a glance you can see how much water is inside your water tanks. Now the top green bar, this gives you your battery status. So at the moment it's saying it's at 77% and it's at 13.1 volts. You'll notice here it says it's 300 amp hours and it's a lithium battery. So all of our vans in 2025 come standard for Design RV with a 300 amp hour battery and it's lithium. Now keep your eye on the voltage, that'll tell you the status of the battery. Directly below, you'll see a bar here that tells you where you're getting your power from. So at the moment, you're getting a little bit from solar, on and off. If you're getting from AC mains or from the car, these ones here would light up. Now your load, what that is, is that's the amount of energy that you're using. So if I switch some lights off now, you'll notice that the load will start dropping down. And if I turn them back on again, the load goes back up. So you can keep an eye on the load and work out how much power you're using if you're free camping. The secret is to try to keep your solar higher than the load if you can. If you can do that, you'll always be on top of your battery usage. So that's your main screen. And on the top here, you have your date and your time. Now, if you want to edit those, you want to change them, press the little gear button down on the far right hand corner and you'll see a box that says screen. So press screen and that's to bring up your formats. You can scroll it up and down. So you've got here date format, if I press on there, at the moment it says year, month, day. We usually use day, month, year, so we just scroll up and then we confirm. So now it's the correct date format. The date, if I press on this button here, you can see it's the 20th of the 5th. You can change the settings just by simply scrolling up and down and we'll confirm that. Then for your time, you can choose between 24 hour time or 12 hour time. So your display will read for whatever you choose. And finally for the time itself, press that. You can just scroll up and down and you can change your time settings. Now also you've got screen brightness. It's factory set at 60%. That's generally about right. Unless you want to change it, you can do it if you want. Now if I tap back on the home button again, it takes you back to the main screen. So there you go, that's how you get in and around your screen. Now there is a little caution triangle up here. If that ever lights up, it usually means there's a fault with the system, but as you can see, there's no alarm. Everything's working beautifully. So that's your main 12 volt control screen, and now we'll talk about the main controller box. 
So this is your projector 12 volt operating module. It controls everything, it charges your batteries, uh, it determines where it gets the power sources from, whether it's from your 240 volt mains, from the solar or from the car. Now you don't need to do anything, it'll determine itself where it will get the power from. It'll always prioritize your 240 volt power first, so if it finds that, that's where it'll charge from. Next, it'll prioritize solar, so if you don't have 240 volt power, it'll switch automatically to solar. Now you'll see down here there's a power point with a plug and a switch. Please leave that switched on. That is essential for charging your batteries. If it's not switched on, it will not receive power from your 240 volt power system. Now on the far left side here, you've got a switch. You can turn this system off and you can perform a reset by turning it off and turning it on if you need to. Now there is also some 24 hour fuses there on the far side. So they're for items that are running all the time. Underneath this cover, if I pull it off, you'll find all your temporary fuses. So these fuses here are for things like lights, fans, your water pump, those types of items. Now if you ever blow a fuse, it generally will light up behind the fuse so you can identify easily which fuse it is. And then down the other end, you've got some spare fuses. So it's very easy just to take one out, swap it over, and away you go. So it's as simple as that. That's your 12 volt control module. You shouldn't really have to touch it. It should run happily by itself inside the cupboard. Now if you have any other inquiries or questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call here at Southern Design RV at Ballarat.